Hey guys, welcome to the Chi Life Masterclass. I'm David Wong, and I'm going to be your trainer and mentor today. So we actually have quite a lot of affiliates, and we have some quite successful ones uh, that have already earned a lot of, lot of income from promoting our products. And uh, I want to do my best to support you guys, give you whatever resources and training you need so that you guys can um, go ahead and you know, create wealth for yourself by sharing and creating um, transformations for people in their lives. So uh, we're going to talk about mainly how to create content that's going to get a lot of people to view it. Uh, so there's many people who um, become affiliates and there's different strategies on basically sharing about the product. And uh, one strategy is just to share with your friends and family, which is a great place to start because they know you, uh, you already have a relationship with them and um, you know they can see your life changes from the technology. So uh, we can start there. Next place you can, you can uh, go to is your coworkers or uh, some events or maybe some local events that you go to, um, some meetups, some could be a yoga class or any classes or events and or communities that you uh, participate in and you can share with, with them. Um, thirdly, uh, the, the next step is to share with people you don't know that you haven't met yet. And, you know, if you want to build a long term uh, affiliate marketing business and long term income, that is the best place to, uh, way to do it, because eventually you know, all your relatives and all your friends, they already bought one and you want to continue to create more and more income. So what you need is to, you need to meet new people and you need to uh, share this with people you haven't met yet that need to know about Qi coils or need to know about uh, Qi Energy AI or, or other products. So how do you do that, right? Well, one of the easiest way to meet people online these days or to uh, get people to uh, uh, get attention or, or to get engagement is through TikTok. Uh, some people can do it through YouTube or Facebook. Those are all good too. But uh, what we found is that TikTok is a lot more engaging. TikTok is a lot more, um, you know, more authentic. That's the general um, consensus and the general feel of the app TikTok is that it is more authentic, it's more raw, and it's more um you know it's less polished right you want to compare the different social media networks you can let's say there's a uh, youtube facebook uh, instagram and TikTok. um you can say that like instagram is like the more polished the you know everybody like, looks pretty they put their um the best outfit on and they put their best makeup on and they have really these like picture perfect photos and videos um that's generally what Instagram is is more catered towards and they're more moving more towards uh, video so that they can catch up with TikTok. So that's kind of changing. But but um, Instagram is more for like like a more polished look. Uh, and then there's Facebook and then YouTube, which uh, is kind of like in the middle. And then there's TikTok where it is more like just every day, uh, every day average people can without, you know, without looking perfect and without looking like with all the makeup and all the with all the fancy clothes, uh, they can still get a huge following because people want to relate with people and engage with people who are like them. Okay, so that's the main difference. Not not saying that you can't dress up like wear a nice jacket or something like that on TikTok. It's just um, I mean, this is my style and I this is what I'd like to like to wear. So but the key thing is be authentic, right? Be yourself, right? I'm not wearing this because I'm trying to impress people. This, this, I just like it, and I actually wear it in you know my everyday life as I go out and you know even at home. So, um, so whatever you do, the key thing is to be authentic. So, what does it mean to be authentic? It is to um, just speak from the heart instead of speaking from the head or speaking from something else. And that's very important. And when, when you start doing that, what's going to happen is people are going to recognize that. 
uh, it could be a tone of voice, it could be your eye contact, it could be your body, you know, body language, uh, all that adds up and all this unconscious uh, in, is that whenever you speak from the heart and you speak, you know, what's authentic to you and what's real for you, then people will engage with that and they can see that because nowadays it's very easy to see what's an advertisement. It's very easy to see, you know, um, whether somebody is trying to make money from from a video or if somebody is actually trying to share something that is truly uh, amazing and truly life changing. So the key is how can you um, how can you get that kind of engagement and how can you get that kind of trust with the videos that you make? Well, a lot of it has to do with practice and a lot of it has to be able to communicate. Okay, so you need to learn how to communicate in a way that's number one, very short and very sweet, gets to the point, it's brief, there's no rambling. The first sentence, like the first three seconds has to give the, the viewer a reason to keep watching for the next 10 seconds, for the next 30 seconds, for the next minute, for the next five minutes and so on, okay? So when you start a video, it can't be say, hey, how is it going guys, blah, 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 blah. That's, that's not the right way to start a video. A live is okay, but when you actually record a video, you don't want to do that, okay? You want to focus on creating strong headlines, or you can call them hooks, or you can call them, but, uh, or you can call them um, titles, okay? Or something that gets the person's attention. And I showed you guys this last month in the master class is how to use ChatGPT, if you guys haven't already used it. To, to create these hooks and create these headlines. And you don't have to use them directly word for word, but they're good ways to um, get ideas and to change the wording that you have. Because a lot of times, like the, the, the truth is that 80% um, of the people don't know how to sell. 80% of people don't know how to, how to do affiliate marketing. Uh, many people have no idea and you may not have no idea, but that's okay. It's something that you can learn and it's something that's very easy to do. Um, and as I said, you can just use something like ChatGPT to help you get those first few seconds of content uh, in your videos and get that, uh, get that um, audience attention. So we're gonna go over that more in detail in a bit. So first of all, keep it short and sweet. Next thing, number two, is to learn how to get attention and keep attention in the first three seconds and then 10 seconds. So the, in the first few seconds of the video, uh, I talked about being authentic, okay? So show your own personality, uh, use your own voice, make something that's unique and relatable to your audience. Because what's gonna happen is whatever you do, most likely you're gonna attract people that resonate with you, okay? So there's no point changing yourself into something you're not um, in order to attract somebody, okay? Just become, just be whoever you are, like your interests, your likes, your lifestyle. Like what do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? What do you do when you wake up? What do you do for work? You know, what do you do at night? What do you do for fun? What do you eat? What kind of stuff you eat? What kind of music you listen to, you know? And then, you know, you want to share about like who you are because that's what people are interested in. But do it in a way that's um, that has some kind of story to it. Okay, so that leads us to the next part. Like, what what do you what's what's a kind of content is um, is engaging? Well, a story is one of the best ways to uh, get people's attention and keep it is to tell a story. So, and then you may be asking, what kind of story would I tell? Well, you can still tell a story about your life. There's so many things that you think are not important. And it's um, may not be anything of importance, but it doesn't really matter because if it's something that happened in your life that's interesting and and even funny, uh, that's actually um, uh, content that people really like to listen, uh, watch. Like if something that happened to you or something that you did or something that you saw or something that occurred that you saw or or in in one of your family members' lives, if you want to share something that's funny. That's always something that people want to hear about. And um, because when you kind of make fun of yourself a little, kind of like 
you know, don't without taking yourself too seriously, you can make it find yourself, then people kind of lower their their guard and lower their barriers and they become more open to what you have to say because you're not somebody that's like trying to pretend or uh, position yourself uh, to be better or greater than 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 whoever is listening because when you do that, um, it can have one of two effects. Right? Number one, it can it can attract people if you are actually are you know very successful and you actually are very good at what you do, which you should be showing too. But if you're not and you're just pretending that that's going to uh, eventually bite you in the ass, right? Because eventually people find out. Um, but if there's something about you that's kind of quirky, something about you that is kind of funny, then, you know, don't be too scared to kind of make fun of yourself a little bit. And, uh, but somehow tell a story behind that, that either entertains, inspires, or educates. Okay. So we, we, we know we're going to tell stories. Okay. So if you tell a story and then it's a story about, let's say something that you, um, experience in your life even even if it's just very funny and uh amusing um if there's no real point to it then you really kind of um you're just a, basically a like a stand-up comedian okay you're just entertaining but as an affiliate marketer we want to eventually guide people towards buying the product right obviously uh, obviously so if you're just telling a story it can be funny Maybe you can do a few of them that have no point at all, and you just want to tell a funny story for entertainment purposes. That's great, but unless eventually, unless that eventually kind of ties into some kind of education or some kind of inspiration that um, talk, that leads people into the conversation about okay, what is this chi coil that you talk about, or what is this chi coil you have in your background, right? If it doesn't lead to that, then it, it's going to get you followers and views, but it's not going to help you make money on TikTok because there's a lot of people on TikTok with millions and millions of followers, but they make zero money because they know how to entertain, but they don't know how to transition that entertainment into somebody uh, wanting to learn more about a specific product or service or something like that, other than like doing a commercial or something like that, or be sponsoring it by you know doing a sponsorship deal with a with a brand so um but it's actually a lot more profitable to be an affiliate marketer than to do sponsorships ship deals you actually make more money okay so so what you need to do is to learn how to transition whatever story you're making to have some kind of educational piece okay so what's the educational piece well, what do our chi coils do? Our chi coils help with energy, help with sleep, help with anxiety and uh, depression, traumas, right? All the mental health. And it helps with, um, you know, recovery, regeneration, pain management, all the, you know, injuries that you may have when you do sports, it help you to recover faster. So all, all that can, could be a story, right? You, you know, you can talk about a story about how you injure yourself or how uh, you recover from something. That's also that's always a great story to tell. Um, and also uh, it's for meditation. So you can talk about your, your spiritual journey as well. So you, you can create content that is um, about spiritual lessons that you learned or spiritual teaching that you want to teach, if you if that's something that you want to do, um, or it could be some kind of meditation experience that you had, uh, or you can even use some of the frequent free frequencies to make um, meditation videos, or to to make some kind of um, meditation guided meditation uh, video. So there's so many uh, ways to do it, but whatever you do, um, you may be testing all these out, right? I just gave you a whole bunch of ideas already. And what you need to do is kind of like make a short list of it and then ask yourself, okay, what makes you happy to do? What makes you excited to do? And what's something you can do consistently? So you can ask yourself some, that, so, uh, those things. Like for example, I say, oh, I love to go, I love to go skiing. And, um, and I wanna do content about skiing. 
but you can only ski in the winter. So can you really be that consistent with that? Well, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. You can figure us out something, but that's just an example, right? You got to ask yourself, okay, if it's something you're going to do, can you do it consistently? Can you do it with enthusiasm consistently? And can you um, do it? Uh, and is it something that you love to do? Okay. So always be creating from your heart because in your mind, you might think, oh yeah, all these people are doing this kind of new trend or all these people in TikTok are doing this or doing that. And then you start copying people, which is good. It's a good place to start. It's a good place to kind of get model after other people. But it's unless it's something that um, you personally love to do and have, have some kind of passion, then it's going to be hard for you to stay consistent. And it's going to be hard for you to um, get the result that you want. Okay. And, and it's also going to translate into how the audience is going to react to you. Because like I said, the audience is very savvy. Okay. They can tell whether you are authentic or not just by watching your stuff and just by the words that you're saying, tone of voice and so on. So always being authentic. And even if you're authentic and people still, you know, there's going to be trolls and they're going to be people who, um, you know, they post what, you know, bad comments on your feed. That's okay. You know that you're authentic. You know that you are doing what you love. It doesn't matter what people say, just keep doing it. And then eventually the people that um, are resonating with you, they're automatically going to follow and support you, may possibly become friends with you. Um, which, you know, which we, we have, like, we have lots of people in our groups, um, becoming pretty good friends. Uh, and they met each other through maybe social media. So that's not something uncommon these days. Let me reiterate. So number one is keep it short and sweet. Um, before you start making really, really long videos, you can start doing short ones. So do 15 second ones, 60 second ones. But the, the key is to get really good at it. And the key is to get attention in the first three to five seconds. Okay. So let me give you some examples of good, good hooks uh, for the first. Okay. So some examples of good hooks is ask a question. Okay. So if it's about it, whatever topic it is, Ask a question to the audience. It can be could be like, "Hey, have you ever wondered why you can't sleep?" Right. So that's the thing. So right off the bat, that gets the attention. It's a direct question, and it's a problem that a lot of people have. Right. Some people can't sleep. Okay. Number two, you can uh, another way to get a, make a hook is to use a teaser. So you can tease your audience with a glimpse of what's coming in the rest of the video. So you can say, hey, coming up, I'm going to give you uh, a hint on how to how to um, get rid of your pain in 10 seconds. Right. So that's a teaser of what you're going to say, of what you're going to what you're going to teach for the rest of the video. Okay, so it's a short five second sentence that you can use to tease what's going to be in the rest of the video. Okay, third way is to make a bold statement. So you can say, um, uh, you know, Luke, if you're here, he had somebody that um, ha uh, basically got rid of her headache in five seconds from using the coil. So the bold statement can, can be like, here, like, here's how, here's how I was able to cure a head. Uh, here's how I was able to cure a headache in just five seconds. So that's a bold statement, right? Here's how I cured a headache in five seconds. So old statement, true statement, and gets people's attention. There's a problem. The problem is the headache. And then the solution is it was, you know, relieved in five seconds. And the bold statement in this is that it's done so quickly. It's in five, five seconds. And got, that gets people's attention. They say, oh, well, that's pretty interesting. You did in five seconds. That's pretty bold. Let me see um, what the rest of this video is about, right? Uh, fourth way is to create a surprise. So uh, it could be, you can do this many ways, okay? 
you can say something very surprising, something like a like a shocking statement, right? Uh, or a um, or a funny statement that's in the beginning that kind of shocks people or gets people to say huh or gets people to kind of um, that like it's gets people to you, you guys know what i'm saying like a surprise statement some surprise statements would be did you know that the average person spends more time on their phone than they do sleeping right so that's surprise uh you won't believe what i found out about yeah xyz right so it could be you, you won't believe what i found out about uh uh about meditation or about psychic abilities or something something that gets people to gets people curious so it's all about curiosity right uh, another one could be what if i told you that and then you say some kind of surprising st st statistic or, or a fact right or did you know that like five out of uh, ten people have this xyz okay so those are surprise statements okay so so those are some tips on how to get attention in the first few seconds of the video. Okay, so some examples of bad opening, some examples of bad ones would be, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Or hey guys, thanks for watching this video. And eh, don't do that, okay? It's, it's a waste of time and you just blew that first few seconds of the video. You know, don't say stuff like, oh, I was bored so I decided to make a video. Never say that. Uh, or don't say stuff like, oh, I don't know what to say, so I'm just going to start talking. Don't say that. Um, don't say, today I'm going to be doing something basic, or today I'm going to be doing uh, the laundry, or today I'm going to be doing cooking, or today I'm going to be doing um, doing the mowing the lawn, right? Don't, don't say things that are kind of boring and everyday uh, and, and basic that everybody does. Uh, if you're going to be doing it, doing something like if you're going to do it do something add some kind of twist to make it interesting so you say today i'm going to be cooking with my shirt off or something if you're a guy it's okay or today i'm going to be cooking um a new dish that is is going to be uh, the the most spicy dish you've ever seen something like that right or you never ever taste it um so if you're gonna do something that's mundane make a twist to add it to make it something unique Another one that you shouldn't be saying is if you're watching this hit the like button and follow me so don't don't start with that. You can um, do it at the end, but don't do it at the uh, beginning, so those are things you shouldn't be doing. Uh, I shouldn't be saying in the first few seconds of the video okay. Does listening to frequencies matter what volume you listen at okay so this is a question outside of the training. But yes, it does. So the the higher, I mean, the louder you play the frequencies, then you're getting a bigger dose. Okay, so that's the answer. Sunny said, um, just bought the Chico Mini, just waiting for it to arrive. All right, thank you. Thank you for the purchase. Okay, so keep it short and sweet. Get attention grabbing uh, headlines or first for the first 10 to se five to 10 seconds, be authentic tell a story and use humor okay and be yourself and do something that you're that you love or passionate about and do something that you can do consistently okay so those are the tips that you can use um, to create videos or content youtube ads what's your take so i do a lot of youtube ads and if you can figure out how to make a ad that is um, successful, it can, it can be very lucrative for you if you can figure it out. So if you're gonna do YouTube ads, what I would do is I would start with making your content first, right? Because uh, if you're gonna run ads, I mean, you're gonna spend money and you don't wanna spend money on ads that not gonna work. So how do you know which ads or which videos are going to work before you spend money on advertising them? Well, you can just use the, you know, just just post them on your TikTok account or post them on YouTube to see, um, you know, what's the response, right? And 
what you can do is after it, they had a, some views, I would say at least 100 views or so minimum, then you have some kind of data that shows you how long the person watched for, how many percentage they watched for, how many percentage of them engaged, which means like liked it or commented on it. And um, yeah, you need to test the marketing first. And, you know, once you once you're more consistent with this, you're going to have, let's say, 10, 20, 50, 100 videos on your on your channel. And you're going to start seeing some patterns of which videos are doing better than the other ones. And what you would do is you would take those. And then if those are good ads, you can start basically creating ads that are um, like those videos. Okay. And then you would test it on YouTube um, and make a ton of different variations of it. So what I do is I use ChatGPT once again, and I create a bunch of many different scripts. I edit the scripts as needed so that it sounds more like my voice. And then I record a bunch of videos, like 10 or 20 of them. I even test different outfits. I test different backgrounds. You know, If you're taking this seriously, this is, some, this is what you should do. But you can just start with one outfit, one background. But the thing is, you're testing all these different headlines that I talked about, testing all these different scripts, testing all these different stories that you're telling, basically. And then, um, and then, yeah, then you find out which one works best. And from, and the ones that you work best, then you use those, and you, uh, and you, you know, get more plays and get more views of those. Uh, I got a question: Can you sleep with the G coil, or do you have to have it? Uh, certain amount of time. Yes, you can sleep with the chi coil. So it how much you use it should depend on your reaction to it. So some people are more sensitive to chi coils than others, and they won't need as much chi coil use as others. So if you're very sensitive and you do play it all that all night long, you might wake up very dizzy because you may have used too much. But there's no problem with um, sleeping with it, you just need to gauge yourself to see how much you actually need. Okay. If you put food on top of a large coil like nuts, chocolate, will the energy of that food be transformed into the energy of that frequency? Yes, it will. Do you feel surveys and posts are effective engaging the market? Yes, they are. Yes. Um, if you have a list of people to survey, definitely uh, I would do the surveys so you can find out from them what they like, like what they want to watch, what they're interested in, what their problems that they need solving, and so on. Why do you think Chico causes nightmares, not just for me using a sleep frequency, but for others who have used it too? Um, this is, you know, obviously this is not something I can prove scientifically, but Qi calls generally will kind of detox not just your body physically, it'll detox you like energetically. Okay, so if you have a lot of traumas, um, dark past, uh, negative energy that you've been keeping around you, it could have been there for years, even decades, is actually detoxing you from that energy. Okay, so like when you go to, the, when you detox your physical body, right? Like you go to the bathroom and it all comes out and all the nasty stuff come out, right? So the same thing happens to you energetically. So that those nightmares, like those stuff coming to the surface, um, that sometimes happens, but it's okay because once that clears out of your the system, then they won't come back, okay? And um, I've noticed also some people experiencing that as well. So yeah, so it's kind of like a spiritual energetic detox for the mind or for the spirit. <laughs> yeah, watching horror movies won't help. So it will, it generally does detox uh, that, you know, those kind of energies in your mind, in your spirit. And um, it may be necessary, right? Uh, because that stuff is, you know, got to come out somewhere. And uh, it's got to come to the surface because it's basically a lot of this stuff could be deeply seated inside somebody's person, soul, so to speak. And um, these frequencies, they actually shaking it up and stirring it up and loosening it up. And it's coming to the surface of the conscious or the subconscious and even the conscious. 
and but it's okay it's not going to stay and it, you know it's there's going to be you know a period where it's kind of you know you can, there's more nightmares right or there could be some more negative thoughts but after that then it's going to clear out you know just like a normal detox okay but don't be afraid it's just nightmares they're not real okay so, so don't worry about it is the chi cause silent when in use yes so the chi cause is silent it does not make any sounds so a few things that i need to clarify when you plug in the chi calls to the uh to our consoles or to the app or to the website and you play the frequencies no sound comes from the chi calls it's completely silent because they turn into magnetic energy and then the second thing is the magnets only move with the test frequency not all the frequencies okay so when some frequencies have very high pitches, the magnets or the magnet ball won't move. It's not supposed to, because that's, because it just won't, okay? That's not how physics works, okay? But your chi is still actually broadcasting that frequency uh, and it's actually going into your body. It's just that you won't feel the magnet moving, okay? So the magnet moving is for the test frequency. So make sure you use the test frequency. That's just to test to see if it's on, and it's functional and it's working. Once you have the magnet moving, play any frequency you want. Some move that magnet, some do not, depending on the tone, on the pitch of the frequency, right? But regardless of it, it's gonna be coming out of the chi coil. When I put the magnets on the chi coils, they make a sound of the frequency, it's quite loud. It sounds like you're in space. Okay, so that's something I don't say because then people are gonna put the magnets to your, their ear and then they can, yes, if you do put the chi call and you put a magnet next to the chi call, the magnet will start to make a sound. Okay? I don't tell people that because then it's going to confuse the heck out of people. So do chi calls make sound or not? So, so um, yes, technically, there's a very really tiny faint sound that comes out for the magnet and you have a really, really good hearing. You can hear it. But I'm going to say there's no sound coming from the chi call because then people that don't have good hearing, they're going to start trying to hear the listen for the sound of chi call and say, oh, I don't hear the sound, the chi call is not working. So, so that's the clarification, okay? So don't expect sound to come out from the chi call. But if you have super, super hearing, you could probably hear some kind of sound coming out from it. Okay, so Jimmy says he can hear it. Okay, but so some, like I say, some people hear it, but I don't want to say Oh yeah, there's some sound coming out because then people that don't have good hearing, they're gonna say, "Oh, I don't hear anything," and they're gonna they think that chi is not working. Okay. Um, could you do an unboxing so I can create a video for others? I was so lost on half of stuff was or did. I got the mini. Where can I learn more about the different frequency purposes? Earth, bunch of options like sawtooth, data square. Okay, so if you open the box, there's a bit the card has a big stop sign on there. It has a has a has a website address chicoil.com slash setup i hope you guys all went to that website uh, before you started like trying to set it up yourself because that's going to answer all your questions and help you to uh, set up everything that you need okay all the unboxing all the setup every sync system every console every power kit it's all on there even the oral coils even the, the wands, every product, every different combination is on the setup page. Okay, so don't ignore the big stop sign. There's a card with a big stop sign with a web address. Okay, the purpose is that is like stop, don't start using it until you watch these videos because 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 that's what you need to watch to learn how to use it. Okay, and it's going to answer all your questions, how the frequencies work, it's all the tutorials on there. Okay, makes sense. If you put a quartz crystals with max magnets, you can hear it louder. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, this amplifies the um, the frequency. Yeah, the crystals do. You look different. How have you been? How different? Can you have the chi coil around your head? Um, I don't recommend putting it too close to your head. Uh, you can put it, you know, neck down is okay. And you don't really need to put it onto your head to for your head to get the free you know get the therapy okay because it has a magnetic field um but sometimes the magnetic field is so strong it's too strong for your head so don't put it close to your head extra magnet pur purpose extra cords um 
yeah, just watch the videos and it's going to be uh, clear to you. I look different because I have been working out like four, at least about four to five times a week. So I, I, my muscles got bigger. I'm stronger. I lost a, maybe some, I shed some extra fat. That could be it. And I got a haircut recently. So my hair is a little shorter. So maybe that's why I look different. What do you think? Okay. Any other questions? Good looking as ever. Thank you. <laughs> Do you still do Qigong? Yes, I do Qigong every day. Um, we might do, we might re release like a, a new Qi Coil course coming out. Yeah, we might be releasing that, re releasing that. Right now it's $97 for the course. It's got 12 weeks of um, Qigong training. So I do do Qigong uh, every day. Okay, so is, is this helping you guys? Is this something that's going to help you to um, build your affiliate marketing business? Oh, before I forget, uh, I need you guys to help me out. So you guys know Trustpilot. So I need to get some boost on the reviews on Trustpilot because um, our store is not connected to there. So a lot of the uh, good reviews are not getting onto Trustpilot. So please, if you want to help me out, um, go to Trustpilot, search Chi Life Store, or go to that link that I just posted and um, give us a good review, five-star review, hopefully, uh, on there so that we can get our rating uh, back up on, um, I'm going to post it on YouTube and post it on, on Zoom. So please go there, give us a five-star review uh, and uh, help support the, uh, the the community. Okay. I had a scary lucid dream when I slept with one of your frequencies playing on YouTube. Oh yeah, which one? Yeah, we just released an hour long DMT and ayahuasca frequencies. Those are crazy, okay? If you listen to that for a whole hour, yeah, I won't be surprised if you had to get lucid dreams or some kind of like bizarre uh, experience. Before we had it only playing for a minute or so, maybe three minutes, and people were already having some, uh, you know, not everybody, but uh, I would say about 30% or so of people were having some pretty bizarre experiences for just three minutes. So he said, heck, I'm just going to release the whole one hour track for both DNT and Ayahuasca and We'll just see what happens. So if you listen to that for a whole hour or even longer, you're going to have some kind of experience for sure. Do the frequencies from cell phones and 5G interfere with Chico frequencies? No, they don't. Why does that happen is because, well, do you know what DMT is and do you know what ayahuasca is? So they're psychotropic substances and they're actually illegal, but uh, we made them into frequencies. So when you listen to these frequencies, you get that same psychotropic effect in your in your mind psychotropic means it gives you some kind of um hallucinogenic uh you know tripping basically it's going to help you make you trip a little bit <laughs> okay uh who else has a question what's the benefit of that the benefit well people want to have these spiritual experiences uh, could be many different reasons, right? Like um, some people just want to expand their mind. They're curious and they, to explore. Some people want to connect to their spirit animal, right? That's usually sometimes what people do or connect to a spirit self, the higher self or connect to their guardian angels or or to discover a part about themselves that they never knew before or just to kind of experience consciousness or reality in the way that they never knew, uh, experienced before. Like some, some experiences, like, like they feel expanded, like in their mind, they feel so expanded that they feel like they're bigger than the planet and they're bigger than the universe and they can see everything and they can travel to, you know, other planets or other star systems. So, I mean, all this is happening in the person's mind, but for them, it feels really real because it is actually, they experience it in their mind, right? So, uh, so it could be that reason, and or it could be 
some other reason, maybe they have a question that need to be answered in their life, uh, or they need some kind of support in some aspect in their life. So it can be many reasons why people seek a spiritual enlightenment or spiritual awakening or have a spiritual experiences, which frequency is for the third eye and does that work? Well, we have a third eye frequency specifically for that. And yes, it does work. So, uh, and it's free too. So you can go to our site, use the chi, use the chi.com and get that for free. How do I connect with chi healing or whatever? I need to understand how to use the different frequencies for healing. Um, like, what do you, what's your question about the frequencies, right? I mean, it's pretty clear. Uh, so the frequencies says regenerate or every frequencies says pineal gland or frequencies says, um, you know, all purpose healing or frequencies says that uh, heal the emotions. I mean, it's pretty clear what the healing is for, what the frequencies are for. How do you use it is you just listen to them. Is that, is, is that safe? I mean, it's that simple. How do you heal others is just get them to listen to it. Uh, and, and if it's using chi coils, it can be silent. So just play the chi coils and use it daily. And if it's somebody else, then just put the chi coils next to them and let them to use it daily. We, If you want to get more in depth, I know that's really simplistic, but that's basically all it is. It's very simple how to use chi coils and frequencies. Listen to them or play them. That's it and do it regularly. Um, if you want to get more in depth, however, we do have a practitioner course that is, I think, about eight weeks um, Eight weeks of material is $297. If you search practitioner course on our site, um, you will uh, actually get the full training on how to use it for uh, practitioners. Okay, Andrea, hopefully that answers the question. There are some that have 24 different frequencies in one, so it doesn't matter which one picks for a 20 minute session. Um, so if there's a one with 24 di different frequencies, you can either just cycle through them just, because when you press play, it's just gonna play one after another or, uh, and you can just play it in the background or eventually, you know, once you play these different ones, you're gonna find the ones that you like more than the other ones. So um, we have, there's 24 is because there's 24 different expressions or different variations of the same thing so like you know if you look in the apple if you turn it around it looks different it turn it around it looks different but still the same apple right so the frequency is kind of like let's say it's ayahuasca well ayahuasca this molecule if you turn it this way it's gonna look this way if you turn it this way it's gonna look something different so it's just different like uh perspectives of how that um object or that substance or that that frequency or that energy is that's why there's many different tracks on some of these uh, collections. So, as I said, you can either play through, through them all, so you get all of, all of the different perspectives, or you can just um, pick the ones that you like. How do you know which one likes? Well, you just feel better, right? Or it just sounds better to you. What happens if you play two frequencies at the same time, then you're going to clash. I wouldn't recommend it. Just play one frequency at a time. Don't do it at the same time. Okay, it's kind of like listening to classical music and jazz at the same time It's going to be it's not going to make any sense. So don't do that. Don't play two frequencies at the same time. You can play them after one after another, but don't do it at the same time. Now, if you're using Qi Energy AI, which is another topic that's silent. Then you can use that and play frequencies at the same time. Okay. But that's another topic if you don't know what Qi Energy AI is. Uh, from two different devices, no, don't do that. How much stronger is the mini if you buy the power supply? About five times stronger. Resonize, yes, app. Uh, this is still a beta, in beta, so it's not officially released. So uh, yes, it is our app, but um, it's still in beta. So there may be still some glitches in it, but it is our app. It does have our frequencies on there, but um, don't expect it to work perfectly yet. Which app should you be using? We recommend you to use the Chi Coil app, okay? Uh, but that's not on iOS. So the best uh, app to use is the web app, okay? So use the one on the website, members.chicoil.com. If you go to chicoil.com, it's gonna say frequencies. So click there, log in, and then you can play the frequencies from the web app. That's the the best app to use right now. 
Okay, who here helped me out with the trust pilot? I'm going to post the link again so you guys can uh, do me a favor because I am giving you all this training for free. And uh, hopefully you can help support me and support the company and support the community, help write a good review on trust pilot. So we have a good standing with that. What's the most popular all around frequency for general pain healing that would be soothe soothe you can see it in the master collection It's a free one of the free frequencies. How does it help with anxiety. Well, it just calms you right when when you have anxiety you have it feels like. Um, like physically how does how it feels like for me when if I do have anxiety is that I feel like something stuck inside of your chest and it's like not coming out and it's not and, and it feels like tension and you feel like you're worried about something but you can't really kind of pinpoint what it is and um you know even if you sleep if you exercise you can't still kind of can't get rid of the feeling it's like something inside of your in the middle of your head like in the back of your neck a little bit and inside of your chest right so this is tension and this is an easy feeling right so how the chi coils help with anxiety is just relief release it it releases that feeling and you won't just stop it'll just stop feeling anxious so that's how it helps it just it just kind of melts away and then you don't have that um weird feeling or the the eerie or the kind of worried feeling inside of your chest um and you kind of feel like you your energy expands and um, you feel happy and re more relaxed and you feel a lot more confident so that's how how it helps with anxiety have it set up to give up great reviews so many of my patients already benefiting okay that's great andrea yeah it would be great if you you know right about um you know the more specific you are on these reviews the better it helps us a lot if you give like tell a story like i said like if you have a client you know you know write the story about all you know one client at a time the longer they are the better too obviously so like write a specific story like oh i have a client you don't have to say their name is they like, let's say their name is kim and then she had this problem for how many days and you know and then she was uh you know tell the whole story in as much detail as possible because then people know that it's not made up <laughs> okay because it you know it's so detailed and it's even the something that's so shocking and so wild it has to be true like those are the best reviews right <laughs> because people know that they're not just made up it has to be the true story so tell the story tell it as much detail as possible and tell the tell the results very clearly i'll say okay what happened uh there's a client come in with a lot of pain from a scale from you know uh, an eight out of ten and then after the session it went down to three out of ten and it only took took 30 minutes or something like that. So those specific numbers are very important in the reviews when people can like instantly get, oh, so it went from this to this. I can clearly kind of tell what happened. Uh, I can clearly say, tell what the result is. So this is like in the same way you write reviews, this it could be, it will be the same way that you make these videos, right? If you're gonna make a video, you know, it's gotta be authentic, be detailed, give specifics. So people know exactly what was the beginning, what was the end. What was what what happened before and what happened after? What was the result? Uh, like for example, we had somebody just post a really cool one. Um, I don't know if you're here, um, but uh, she was growing some onions or something like that. I don't know what kind of plant it is, but in just one day, all these leaves came out, and then the the sprouts shot like all these green sprouts coming out in just one day while she was using chi coils with the plants. Yes, by the way, yes, you can use chi coils with plants too. And uh, it's just, just amazing. In just 24 hours, it just exploded with growth with uh, the frequency. I didn't ask her what frequency it was. Wealth frequency, yeah, we have wealth frequencies, we have abundance frequencies and luck boost frequencies that are really good. What's, uh, which one for the quickest results or do you just turn it up? Example, massage therapist, wrist hurling, needs to work the next morning. Um, yeah, just soothe. I would recommend it's the best one. You can also use uh, um, all purpose regeneration, all purpose wellness. If you're not using Qi Energy AI, AI use Qi Energy AI as well. Okay. 
um, for example, I busted my shin yesterday. I couldn't walk at all, and today I'm walking. So, because I was doing kickboxing, and I kicked this guy. He's, he's freaking 250 pounds, this huge guy. I did a left kick. He checked it with his shin, and I haven't been doing kickboxing for, like, three years, okay? I just do boxing. So, it's my first kickboxing class, and I'm kicking really hard. So, I busted my shin to the, so bad, I couldn't even walk. Uh, and I was limping everywhere. I had to get a cane to walk around the house. That's how bad it hurts. So I turned on the chi coils. I turned on chi energy AI. I turned on weight loss because weight loss is also has a lot of um, anti-inflammatory uh, uh, frequencies in it. And I turned on um, recovery and I turned on uh, center. So all those frequencies helped me to recovered today i went out i drove i went out pick up a bunch of stuff i'm walking i don't need any cane i don't need any help i'm walking slowly but i i'm actually walking which i, I couldn't even walk yesterday okay and that's just one night so that's my story I, I should actually make a story about it i should make a youtube story about it so um so yeah so that's my story so you see how i talk, uh, talk uh, see how i told it i told you kind of um you know what happened and then you know you can hear the emotion in my voice and you can hear uh you know the excitement about how how fast i healed so for you uh james if you want to heal faster um i would use chi energy ai too together with the chi calls if you want to get you know the faster results joanna jackson that was me my plants i used the regenerate and sun frequency Water restructuring frequency make my plants so strong and happy. Yeah, oh, totally. So if you grow any plants, if you do any like gardening, uh, like fruits and vegetables, whatever, if you use chi coils, it's going to make them grow. Like how many how many percent faster would you say stronger your plants are, Joanna, versus not using the coils at all? Thirty percent, right? Yeah. So thirty percent faster or bigger plants, which is quite a, a huge without using any fertilizer, right? All right, I mean, extra fertilizer. I don't know if you use it anymore, but you can do it and it's going to, without fertilizer, without watering it extra, it's just, you know, without spending money on fertilizers or UV lights and whatever, you're just using a shoe coal, which you can use to benefit yourself. And it also benefits the plants and the animals and your environment too. In one day and the color cannot compare. Yeah, so Joanna, if you're gonna do some video, that would be cool, right? You can show how how great your plants look. If you if you can do like a before and after, like you can like do it one week before, one week after. You know that that's what people like to see. They want to see the transformation, right? They want to see the transformation clearly. The before and after. They want to see that huge change because when they see it, they're gonna say, uh, "Oh, this happened for you." You know, I think I can do that too, or I, I want that too. I, I can do that. It's nothing special about this person and they are able to achieve this and it's easy for them, then I can do it too because it's easy. So that's that's the that's the conversation or that's the thoughts that you want the viewer to have when they watch that video. What kind of water do you recommend to drink? Also, does Chi Coil do anything to water? Yes, Sunny. Chi Coil can energize your water, it makes it taste better, restructure the water. So if you don't know what restructuring water is, I recommend you to do some research on that. Restructure water. Um, basically, it's um, kind of rearranging how all the molecules are interacting with each other inside of the water. And because that is changed, or so this, uh, they call it structured, your body will absorb it better, and it's actually better for you, and it actually improves your health better than drinking water without being structured. Okay, and then the neat thing is that when you use chi coils with the water, you're actually structuring it to have the effects of the frequency themselves. You guys get it? Can I say that again? So when you, you drink water that's been energized with the chi coils, you are actually drinking the frequency. Okay, pretty mind blowing, right? You're actually drinking the frequency. So you have you can make holy water if you want. Literally, yes, I think that's really what holy water is. Holy water basically has high resonance. It sits in the church, right? This is a Catholic church. They have holy water. It sits in a, in a bowl and then people are chanting and praising. 
they're singing singing hymns, they're meditating, they're praying. So all this positive vibration is charging this central place where they put the holy water. So obviously that's going to get energized. It's going to have positive vibrations uh, in that water. So with the chi coils, you're doing it in the same way, except you're not using prayer, you're not using your mind, you're not using sound. You're actually using magnetic waves to do it. And you're gonna energize the water. How long does it take to structure the water? Um, how long, Joanna, do you think it takes to restructure the water? Anybody here also tried it with the water? 15 minutes max. That's what she says. Yeah, so it's around there. It doesn't take much longer than that. Is it okay to create Chico ads ourselves with our affiliate link? Also offering coaching and support to those who buy the Chico with our link. Is there any terms and conditions we have to be worried about? Uh, yeah, it's perfectly great. Uh, it's actually is a really good idea, Luke. If So if you have your own service uh, and you have your own coaching service or you have your own... Uh, you know, healing, you know, clinic or something like that, whatever service you're doing, it's okay. And actually is really good idea to package it together with, with Chi Coils, right? So you can say, hey, look, if you're gonna, you know, go, you know, click here and then you go to Chi Life Store, buy, buy, buy the Chi Coils from there, you know, within the next, let's say uh, 48 hours or next week, within this week, I'm gonna throw in a free coaching session for you. And it's gonna be worth, let's say $150 or something like that. Or I'm gonna throw in, throw in a free massage for you and it's going to be, let's say, worth like $80 or something. Or I'm going to give you a free tarot card reading. I'm going to give you a free, uh, you know, something, whatever. You can give, you know, and bundle it together, package it together with something that you have, you know, that's specific for you. Or you can say, I'm going to make a video and uh, for you. Or I'm going to shout out or put you in the credits of this video or something like that. Like you can offer people all this stuff. Um, and a lot of times it doesn't cost you any money. And it could be a way to incentivize them to to buy through you um, and buy through your affiliate link. And and the key thing is to give them a limited time, right? You're not going to offer it forever. And then uh, maybe you can, you know, give them some kind of scarcity, which means like, okay, only the, for the next five people or something can get this or in six people, next six people or 10 people. So yeah, that's a good idea, Luke. So if you offer coaching, let's say you can do a bundle, you can reduce your coaching costs, or you can maybe even give it away for free um when they buy a certain level of chi or something like that and that could be a pretty good offer that you can give to your list or people who are watching your videos what about the chi with our link for google ads yeah um you can go ahead to do that you can advertise yeah you can advertise uh your own ads on do paid ads for now i don't see any problem with that at this moment so um I don't see any conflict with that. So if you want to run ads for yourself with your affiliate link to Chi Calls, I think that's fine. Okay, so I gotta go. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the training. Let me get, know what you guys have questions with. Uh, we do have our uh, Telegram. We do have our Discord for affiliates. So if you're not on those, go ahead and sign up for free. I know I'm not on that much, but you know, when people are more active, I might get on, but I do get on. If you have a question, ask there, and um, you can answer each other's questions, right? Uh, the point is to build a community and to support each other. We have a lot of affiliates. We all want the same thing. We all want to help each other, and we all want to want to heal the world, and we all want to make money and be successful. So, so the more we support each other, you know, it's not, there's no competition here because there's so, it's just so many people out there that need this product and everybody has their own different style, different kind of, um, you know, niche and different kind of audience. So don't worry about, you know, you know competing with each other, but think of it as competition, which is good because competition, you know, makes everybody kind of want to do better and want to improve whatever they do. So, Think of it as healthy competition. Think of it as supporting each other and helping each other to grow because we're all growing together as a family. So make sure that um, you, you go on Discord, go to the affiliate channel, post the stuff that you want to post. You can get, you know, maybe you, you, you want to get some uh, advice about some uh, video or you want, want to get some comments on your video or you want people to, to like your video. Post it on there and say, hey, can you please, you know, like and comment on my video? Because you need those if you want to, 
get more uh, uh, vol- followers uh, and get more views because the more comments and more likes uh, on your videos, then TikTok or YouTube is going to promote it to more people. So make sure you work together as a community, like each other's videos, comment on each other's videos. Uh, you can even stitch and duet with each other's videos and and so that we can support each other so that we're not all just doing it on our own. We can do so much more if we work together as a team, okay? I posted my plants on Instagram. J Max Mama, I just started posting about it too. Yeah, that's right. It's a small hydroponic system that I am learning as well. I'm a newbie too. Okay, that's right. J Max Mama, that is the account you want to, and her name is Joanna. So go check it out. How long does it take to be delivered one ordered? Um, we have them in stock. So depending on which one you get, usually within a week or two. So Sunny, you've been on these lives for a long time. Haven't you ordered one yet? You should order one by now. I think I've seen you on these lives for the last couple months already. Can it be used? Uh, uh, can it be used? Can you use it around cooking items? I used it the other day around my essential oils before I made a salve. Yes, of course. Yeah, it's going to help. It's going to enhance your essential oils. Okay, Sunny. Yes, you ordered a couple of days ago. So yeah, thank you. Congratulations. And I can experience the power of cheek oils. Lewis has says he has his for a few months now. That's great. Yeah. Okay, so two things. Um, I'm gonna add the the uh, She Life uh, assistant link. So if you if you're in Texas, California, or Florida or Vancouver, we're going to be having events throughout the year in those areas. So if you want to be an assistant at one of those events, or you just want to come and meet me, you can do that too. But um, but most importantly, I'm looking for assistance to help me uh, uh, facilitate the booths because we're going to have the booths there with the with the cheek calls. And we need people who have experience with it to demonstrate them and to, you know, um, educate people about them. So that's you. Make sure you go to use the com, and there's going to be a link up there in, the, in a few minutes. It's not up there yet. And then uh, you can go in and apply to be an assistant. Okay. And we're going to also email about that. So finally, yeah, make sure you go to that trust pilot. I'm going to post it one more time. This is something you can really help me out with. And uh, if you don't have, if you don't have the trust pilot, oops. Don't have the trust pilot link just go to trustpilot.com and then search she life store qi life store and um and then give us a, a nice review so that we can get our rating up okay so thanks for coming and i'll see you guys soon use the chi use the chi and prosper